Hidden San Francisco, the guide to lost landscapes, unsung heroes, and radical histories. Stop E6, Eucalyptus Woodrush in the Sutro Forest. Eucalyptus trees are ubiquitous in San Francisco in the Bay Area. They are not native to California originally, but many identify them as quintessentially Californian after more than a century of spreading across the landscape here. First brought by horticulturists who saw the fast-growing trees as ideal for windbreaks and as ornamental additions to their rural estates, it was at the beginning of the 20th century that a promoter hit upon his strategy to get rich quick. Articles appeared in the press lamenting the U.S. quote-unquote hardwood famine and suggesting that the eucalyptus, a timber tree in Australia with its rapid growth and easy adaptation to California, was the perfect solution. The state forester glowingly predicted, quote, it would appear that this state will become within the next 20 years the base of hardwood supply and the home of hardwood manufacturing. The new industry will produce a greater wealth than oranges, end quote. Environmental writer Harold Gilliam described what happened next in an article in a book in 1966. Promoters jumped in by the score. They bought up big tracts of land at prices around $15 an acre, set out eucalyptus seedlings that cost them only $5 a thousand, and sold the land for $25 an acre, promising that within a decade the timber would be worth 10 times that price. Modest proposals appeared in newspaper and magazine ads. Quote, put your surplus into eucalyptus and after 10 years you can live on the income the rest of your life and when you are gone your children and your children's children will perpetually reap the same. End quote. And end of Gilliam's quote. Thousands of people wanted to get rich quick and plunk down money to buy an acre of surefire trees. Eucalyptus seedlings were planted all over California. In the East Bay, one hopeful entrepreneur established a nursery with 30,000 seedlings along a rural Telegraph Avenue. After an eight-year frenzy, somebody made the embarrassing discovery that there was more than one kind of eucalyptus. There were, in fact, in Australia, a staggering 600 species. And the principal kind imported here, the blue gum, was no good for timber even in Australia. The Forestry Service of the U.S. Department of the Interior issued a report that popped the bubble. The blue gum eucalyptus was commercially useless. But by then, tens of thousands of the fast-growing trees were spreading across the hills and valleys of the state. Many people love how they look and smell, but the tree is not friendly to native plants or most animals, given that at its base the soil tends to turn very alkaline and they monopolize any groundwater in the vicinity. In Sutro Forest, the Presidio, and the East Bay Hills, the forests turned out to be good at catching summer fog drip and adding to the water table. But the planted forests are reaching their old age now, leading many to clamor for their removal. Within the existing eucalyptus forests, there tend to be dense ivy patches choking the trees and all else in a macabre dance of invasive species. Worse is that the trees tend to freeze and die when winter temperatures fall below freezing, and that can lead to extreme fire hazards in the following summer months. Twice the East Bay Hills have been engulfed in firestorms, once in 1923 and more recently in 1991, both times leading to hundreds of homes being burned to the ground, homes that were built on wooded hillsides and subdivisions that were carved out from the former eucalyptus plantations. <laughs>